everyone. It's Susan with the Narcissistic Abuse Journey Alliance. Thanks for tuning in. It's Wednesday Wake Up Call. Love is an action, an action verb. And we must have a self, of course, and not be selfless in order to love. There is no such thing as passive love. Love requires sweat equity. It requires perseverance, insight, patience, going the extra mile for our loved ones, and trust. A toxic narcissist or toxic person never goes the extra mile for a loved one. We create love. To make love happen, we have to trust and have guts, to have faith that we can deal with whatever comes down the pike and if it doesn't work out. Love takes risk. There are no guarantees in life. If you want a guarantee, go to Sears and buy a diehard battery. And I had to, <laughs> I had to look up to see if Sears, if Sears was in business, and I guess they're just reorganizing, but they're still around. If we were disappointed by our family when we were growing up, then attachment issues can get in the way, and we may have an unconscious fear of trusting love, so we hold back. We want the power and control, and then consequently, never really love. And this, of course, is a toxic narcissist or toxic person's specialty. They can never really open up to us, and it makes it extremely difficult to have a relationship with them. They're all about power and control, and they basically sabotage the relationship with their inability to trust. We all have different attachment styles, but that doesn't mean we are toxic individuals because of them. Love stirs up everything. Perhaps one of our parents was highly narcissistic, failed to make us feel important, and so we feel unlovable, or maybe one of our parents was depressed and left us feeling anxious on a certain level. Love stirs issues up, and love can heal. Anytime we love deeply, we are at risk for disappointment and loss. But does that mean we let our fear get in the way and we shouldn't take the chance? No. Never beat yourself up for loving a toxic narcissist or toxic person. They initially presented themselves as someone with whom you could have a relationship with, someone you could grow with. Unfortunately, their mask fell off eventually, and you were faced with a completely different person and scenario. You took a risk. It didn't work out. It's okay. I guarantee you that the toxic narcissist or toxic person is not having a better time with their new supply. They are not. They will repeat the same dysfunctional and toxic behavior patterns over and over and over again. So chin up, brush yourself off, put one foot in front of the other, and work on yourself. Focus on yourself. Focus on yourself and what you want out of life. I like this expression, and I don't know who said it. You only live once. False. You live every day. You only die once. Our time here on Earth is valuable. We should not be wasting our time and energy on people who are incapable of loving us and who cannot reciprocate in relationships. Sending love and hugs, and I'll be in touch again soon.